So do you want to talk about this? Uh, I, I I don't quite know what happened. I was just getting <laughs> snippets from Connor the whole I time. I goofed up, Dad. He was at this wedding. I went and to a wedding went on down. Friday. And do you know what? I actually had a really good time. Um, I'm always so, I'm such a twat. I'm always so critical about weddings. I'm always like, oh, the speeches, they need to be good. And to be fair, the speeches <laughs> were really good. It's an event. You want to be entertained. I know, but like, I went to, last one I went to, I just felt like the speeches were, um, it was a Catholic wedding. No comment mm. there. But like, Nothing felt, to say about that. I've got nothing to say about that. Okay. <laughs> but the speeches were just super boring and like, ugh. They didn't. They were really scripted. Um, yeah. I was I was pleasantly surprised by all the speeches. I thought they were really good, and you know, sometimes a, a scripted speech that's nice and meaningful can still be good. But you you've know. always said this. Like, there's nothing wrong about being like scripted, but it, it's like also you know, there's nothing wrong with going off script and like you gotta have this the crowd bit. presence, the yeah. stage presence, and you the know. crowd were loving it. I think particularly like the the sons who did the speeches. Like one of their speeches was really good, and I think it had a really good mix of comedy and like heart yeah that's sweet anyway the the free groomsmen when they got announced into the uh, reception they yeah, uh, dude. they oh, rode no. in on scooters oh wow which i thought was really cool yeah dude <laughs> and anyway hours pass and um it was an it was a free bar for like three wow. hours and I so I was drinking before, and then it was Even, an open bar for three hours. I was just fucking necking in these like. Wait, wait, wait. So, because this is always the best part about, and mm -hmm. you know, forgive me, Catholic weddings, is that uh, when they have an open bar, well, because they're I so drink polite. Here with my friends, you know, they're so polite because they're Catholic, so they get the open bar for the guests. I didn't have but an open bar. Then they're Catholic, my, so they don't really drink. I didn't have an open bar at the Catholic wedding. These people weren't necessarily religious, so they kind of had. <laughs> They weren't believers. I, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> I didn't hear any mention. I'm just saying I didn't hear any mentions to Jesus and stuff. Okay. Personally. Okay. All right. The problem is I took advantage of the free bar. I remember sitting down for the speeches and feeling really groogy and being like, oh, I better slow down a little bit. Because I know That myself, open bar well, gets you, man. It did, man. Um, and then we were going to leave and I noticed a scooter on the side. And I was like, and it looked, oh, brand, no. it looked brand new. So I was like, oh. You know, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a show off. My I was titties a bit of a began man. to tingle. And I was like, yeah, my titties were tingling. And I was like, oh, people will love this. And they did. <laughs> I was riding down the hill yeah. to go back to the cars to go oh, home. Oh, look at you. We had a big bus taking us home and I was riding down like, Wah. and I was like, <laughs> yeah, go Connor. Oh man. We got to the part yeah, where, dude. got to the part where the, uh, bye calf. Bye. See you later. See ya. We got to the part where the, um, the scooter should have been left there. And my mum kept saying to me, I was super drunk. My mum kept saying to me, like, oh, I kind of like, um, you know, leave the scooter. Stop and, I, messing with that. and I was like, ah, it was brand new. I was like, oh, come on. They're probably just going to throw it away. Like, I might as well give it a good home. I do it and again. She's like, she's like, no, no, d seriously, leave it. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. I didn't. I, I, mum's car was there. Yeah, we're leaving it there again. overnight. And I threw the scooter in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot all about it. Oh man! Woke up the next day like pretty late because we didn't. I didn't get to bed till like oh, two o'clock. You... <laughs> of course, my, you did that. My mum, my I what I literally woke up to Connor. Where's the scooter? And I was like, oh, um, I put it in the back of your car. And she's like, the, Christ! It's like. That was the kids' scooters. There was three little bridesmaid girls. Oh, no. Literally tiny little dots. <gasps> and it was their scooter. Oh, and she's like, she's like, the kids at home hysterical oh, because God. they can't find the scooter Bruh. that you Bruh. stole. And Bruh. I was like, I'm so fucking sorry. I was like, Christ, I, don't know. I was like I don't know what you want me to do. She's like, we're going to get the car. I had to like... I sent out texts yesterday to the. I had to text the fucking bride <laughs> and be like, "Congrats on the wedding, but yeah, uh, I was sorry like, I was about." Like, I was like, "Thanks for the great night." Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm the one who took the scooter. Oh, <laughs> I was Christ. like, "It's in my mum's car," but they they had left. Oh, they had no. left the they they had left like the reception area. They were gone, so I was like that's fine, Connor. And then today, like, I finally got the scooter back, and then. I was getting so much shit at home for it. They were like, you need to take it back right now. But I was like, um, long story short, I didn't stay at home last night. I was somewhere else. 
So, <laughs> um, why does Seth Myers keep popping up? Sorry, that's for later. Um, is that is Seth just permanently on our wires? No, I just put it. No, 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 no. Seth no. White wires. I, I got. I clicked the wrong. Wires. I clicked the wrong one. Well, that's the React. Uh, I okay. Long story short, I did deliver the scooter back. Um, and I texted the bride store and I was like, look, I don't know what to say other than there was nothing malicious about it. I thought it was the groomsmen's and they were just <laughs> leaving them there. It looked brand new. So I was like, my, my thought was like, they'd done the bit and they don't want to take it home. Right. They didn't care. But I think what happened was they were, they had told the little girls that once they'd done the bit that they, they could borrow. take them home. And then <laughs> I've just no. taken it and threw it in the back of my mum's car um, it, I, look, I was just, honest. Yeah. I was like, look, I, it was just, it was just, it was just drunk shenanigans. Sometimes okay? I had too many beers. Sometimes others did. Ooh, it was, I was, it was yeah. a wedding. I was drunk. It was an open bar. Uh, shit happens. Come on. I'm sorry. No one's, look, no one's mad at me, but apparently the kid was really upset and I just felt so fucking bad. But anyway, the, the scooter has been returned to the next of kin. <laughs> And I'm sure she'll get her Razor scooter back. Oh, I was just impressed with me riding it down a hill and not hurting myself. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I was pretty smart. Yeah, dude. Anyway, you are such a, a daredevil. Uh, daredevil I, I am Steve-O. <laughs> hit, me with the, hit me with the yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Let's go. I am a bit oh, of a Steve-O. Oh, God. Anyway, that's you. a bit of... You're very special. Thank you. Look, I know some people found it hilarious. Some people didn't. Um, I think it's just me to a, a key. I always do. I always do stuff that's going to try and make people laugh. Yeah, and the people, you gotta make a show of it. The people who were watching me do it, they were laughing, and that's all that mattered to me in the moment. I know that's a bit mean, but I, I did. There was no malice behind it. I didn't know. Um, I didn't know that it was a little girl scooter. Anyway, thank you, Dan. thank you, Dan. Thank you for letting me vet. Yeah, You're like my, this is like my therapy, you know. Do it again. Yeah, do it again. If it's funny, I would. <laughs> It was a bit. I kept telling my dad, he's like, why did you do that? I was oh, like, it was man. a bit. It it's, was, yeah, it's I hard was just to trying to be funny. I was just drunk, man. I don't, it's a wedding. We're all pissed. No, like, I, t I know the, I, 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 I know where you're coming from. You Sometimes you see the bit opportunity and you got to take it. And my dad told me he saw a buggy, like when he was drunk with his boys, <laughs> when he was like, th like a full on buggy. And he, it was on the, um, the hotel bed and it, oil was like black oil was all over the bed sheets. Oh boy. Um, so I'm like, are you really giving me shit right now? You stole a fucking buggy. <laughs> I don't know how they got it in. I don't know how. It must have been like a miniature buggy, but they got it into the hotel room. And mm. just, again, like, why'd you do that? Drunk shenanigans. That's, you know, that's just you stole, the kind of fun you stole that you that, get up to. The Coles trolley on levers. Oh, and yeah. you woke up and it was in your room. Why'd you do it? Drunk shenanigans. I, yeah, I did steal a trolley. You had too many I had beers. To. I drank yeah. beer with my friends. Yeah, it's just drunk shit. I don't know how to explain it. It's just drunk shenanigans. Nah, okay? it's fun. It's good and fun. There was no malice behind it. There was no agenda. No. There was. I wasn't trying to offend anybody. I'm sorry if I did. This is my apology. God bless. You made me 